My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 27 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be introducing polynomials. From this episode to episode number 35 is all about polynomials. At the end of episode number 35, we will make sure that everything is covered so long polynomials is concerned. Polynomials in Jam is the beginning of algebra. Before now, we've been dealing with topics under number and numeration. Algebra covers polynomial, variation, inequality, AP and GP, uh, matrices and determinants, binary operation. These are the algebra topics in Jam. Now, what is polynomial? Polynomial is simply an expression with coefficient, exponent, a constant. That is basically a polynomial. If I give you something like this, 2s plus 3, you see that this s is a variable. Yes, polynomials, they have variables as well. s is a variable. 2 is the coefficient of the variable. And 3 is a constant. This expression also has a power. This is the same thing as raised to the power of 1. Anytime you see just an s or a y, it is the same thing as raised to the power of 1. This can also be written this way, 2y plus 3, where this is y raised to the power of 1. The variable is y, the power is 1, and the coefficient of the variable is 2, then 3 is constant. We can also do like this. This is a polynomial. 4s squared minus 2s plus 3. This is a variable, this is another variable, this is a constant. These are coefficients of the variable and this is power or exponent. This is the full expression here is also a polynomial. However, they are of different degrees. This takes us to the degree of polynomials. Degree of polynomials is the highest power to which a polynomial is raised. Now look at here, this expression or this part. You will see that here is 1. The highest power of variable is 1. Polynomial, they have descending power of variables. You see from 3 to 1. Now, picking out only this expression, the highest power of variable is 1. This is therefore a linear polynomial or a linear expression. There is a difference between expression and equation. This here, like 2s plus 3, this is an expression. And what type of expression? Linear expression. How about I do something like this? 2s plus 3 is equal to 0. This is an equation. It is an equation, not because there is 0 here. It is simply because there is equal to sign. So, when you have values separated with equality sign, it is referred to as equation. While this is a linear expression, this is a linear equation. Now, look at this second expression. You will see that the highest power of variable is 2. Arranging the powers in descending order, you have raised to the power of 2, then you have raised to the power of 1. The highest power is 2. Therefore, this is a quadratic polynomial. And this is an expression. By the time you introduce equality sign, something like 4s squared minus 2 s to the power of 1 plus 3, this is referred to as 
let's say equals zero or equals anything this is quadratic equation quadratic expression quadratic equation and they are both quadratic polynomial because the highest power of variable is two now a polynomial where the highest power of variable is three like in this case is a cubic polynomial or a cubic expression if there is equality sign it becomes a cubic equation now in mathematics generally any expression with power raised to the power of two three four five and six they are all referred to as polynomials polynomials the things you need to know under polynomials so long jump is concerned are a change of subject formula b factor and remainder theorem ah c factorization of polynomials of degrees not exceeding three d multiplication and division of polynomials e roots of polynomials not exceeding three f simultaneous equations including one linear and one quadratic equation now roots of polynomials not exceeding three if the power or the degree is two that is quadratic three that is uh, cubic g graph of polynomials basically how to interpret graphs of quadratic equations and expressions so long jump is concerned you are not to know any polynomial with degree more than three so this is the maximum jam expects you to know polynomial is a very interesting topic very very interesting topic and i will make sure i teach it the way you will understand it so 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 well in everyday life we come across things like a is equals and b which means area is length times breadth we can also see something like a is equals pi arrow squared we also see equation like f is equals a a then we see something like v is equals u plus a t then you see something like s is equals u t plus half a t squared you have so many of these formulas formulas are rules that make use of the mathematical symbols and for every mathematical formula or for every formula generally you have the presence of variables and the presence of equal to sign now in every formula you will see a single variable that every other thing equates to look at it in this case you see just s here every other thing they are equal to s which means s is a single variable on the left hand side and it is equal to everything on the right here you see v and it, it equals to everything here therefore u plus a t everything adds up to give us exactly what v is f is equals m a f is a single variable that is equals to other variables a equals pi arrow squared a is a single variable that equals pi arrow squared similarly a is less than breadth a is a single variable that equals l and b all these single variables you are seeing usually on the left hand side that every other thing is equal to are referred to as the subject or subject of formula so in this case a is the subject formula in this case a is the subject formula as well in this case f is the subject formula in this case v is the subject formula and in this case s is the subject formula for calculations there are cases where we need to change subject formula if you know that force is mass times acceleration and i tell you to find acceleration you need to do everything possible so that acceleration will stand alone and be equal to every other thing it becomes the subject 
If you are doing that, you are doing what we refer to as change of subject formula. Because the original subject formula here is F. If you are changing it to A, you are changing the subject of the formula. If here, I say, okay, this is final velocity, this is initial velocity, this is acceleration, and this is time. And I say, find initial velocity. We we'll definitely have to bring initial velocity out so that it will be equal to every other thing. So, initially, this isn't the subject. Making it the subject meaning you are changing the subject of formula. In German mathematics, you'll be given a lot of formulas, a lot of equations, and asked to change the subject formula. How do you do that? To change subject formula, you do everything possible to make sure that the one you are changing to is standing alone when every other thing goes the other side of the equation. And doing so, you must make sure that it is legal or it is Lego because there are illegal activities, illegal ways people change subject formula. If you don't do it legally, you get the wrong answer. So in mathematics, things are not done anyhow. We do things the right way. And there are rules you must follow to change subject formula. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we shall look at change of subject formula proper. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you are excited about what polynomials has to offer. This will really boost your love, your interest and your confidence when it comes to mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, get the Flash Learners Jam application ready because you will need it all the time for the rest of the episodes. Get it uh, using the YouTube description or visit flashlearners.com or reach out to me directly for activation, for installation, and for other questions if you have any. See you in the next episode.